Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to the form 2 final examination revision of maths. This will be part 5. In previous videos, we did a lot. I'm not going through all of them again. Oops, sorry. So, where were we? So, in this video, we're gonna start with. We did shapes in previous video, remember? The CSA. This is cylinder, but this time you just need to find TSA and CSA. So, CSA is a curved one, and TSA means the total surface area. Include the two circles on top and bottom. So we did that. This one, make sure you know how to do. That's a lot of marks. Really a lot of marks. Because steps also count there. And then now, another shape is the area of a sector. What is a sector, first of all? So do you still remember what is a circle? This is a circle. And then do you know how to find this is a radius? And then how to find the area of radius? Pi r squared. Pi r squared. Remember, we also have this radius of the cylinder that is also a circle shape on top and at the bottom. So you also need to know it. And then now part of this whole circle, let's say I'm cutting this half, this part, not half, this part of it. So this is what we call sector. What do we call it? Sector. This shape is called sector. And then what's so special in the sector? Again, we have the radius and then the angle that we are cutting is called the theta. So this is called the theta. And apart from that, what else do we have? Is this line here, outer line this. The whole thing is what we call circumference. But if it's just part of it, we call that arc. Okay, theta or angle up to you. And one whole angle, the whole circle is 360 degrees. And now since you just need part of it, so we will say theta over 360 degrees. And then because we are again finding the area, of not the whole circle, just part of it. So the area of the circle times the part of it. So we will have to draw the sector first. We have radius, we have the angle 120. Of course, this doesn't look like 120 at all. It should be a much bigger one, obtuse angle, but it's okay as long as you understand it. So if you want to find the area, it will be pi r squared times theta over 360 degree. So pi r squared is the circle, and now we just need part of it. So we have theta over 360. So do we have our radius? Do we have our angle? Okay, everything is there. Do I have to click this pi in calculator? Yes. The question says you need to correct a three sig fig. That means click everything here and see what's the final answer. So I will have pi, I have 12 squares, and then 120 over 360. So how do I click that? So turn on your camera. I mean, turn on your calculator. So pi. Oh, do you see something for this pi? It's brown in color, so we use the thing called shift. So shift, you have to see the S on top, so shift. And then EXP, pi times R is, what was our R? So our R is 12. So pi R squared, square is here. And then times theta, 120 is our theta. ABC means over 360. So you have the whole thing, pi times r squared times 120 over 360. So your answer is 150.796. So first line, I will write the whole thing because it makes me clear that I know how to do it. But the final answer, you will just have to write the three sig fig. That means the first three numbers only. So 150, but we always see the next number if it's big or not. Big means 5 or above. So since it's big, so you add the value to the front. So it will be 151 and your unit cm square. And remember to write this is correct to 3 sig fig. Significant figures. Okay? That's how you do the whole question. So area of circle is pi r square and now you just need part of it. And fill in all the information that's given. So what happens in exam? You might have to draw uh, by given these wordings or you are given the drawing already, the radius and the angle as well. So you do the whole thing on your own. Okay, easy. Pi r squared times theta over 360 and everything just click calculator. 
pi is in shift exp exponent so that and then radius square times theta over 360 write the whole thing once so that you are clear what to do and when you check the answers you also know so you just need the first three initials and see the next number if it's big then you add the value to it so what if the question was 150.496 i just need these three but my next number is small so do i change no it's still 150 how about it? it's 150.596 i need the first three and the next number is a big number so it will be 151 i will add the value you see uh, we don't have to look at the other f figures just first three and then see the next one very easy right so question two let's do it quickly we draw the sector a very bad sector something like that because 140 degree of course is bigger than 90 degrees so we need to find the area area of a circle is pi r square and now it's a sector so we have part of the circle so theta over 360 as well and then let's input all the information pi radius is 10 theta is 140 and click everything in calculator clicking in calculator takes time so that's why train your speed so pi times r square times 140 over 360 and you shall be able to get your answer as as what did you get 122.173476 I hope I'm correct or maybe you're correct and then we just need the first three and then we see the next number it's small number so no need to change so it's still 122 cm square and write correct to three sig fig okay easy that's very good then let's continue so draw the sector draw the angle and then area will be pi r square is circle and then we just need part of it so pi circle radius is 13 and then 150 over 360 don't forget the degree size and try to click everything on your own now and rather pause the video do it on your own and see if you get all the answers we just need the first two three so next number is small so no need to chain and don't forget the unit and also write the correct to three sig fig if it's in long question if it's short question you don't need to show steps or even in mc no need to show steps so let's quickly draw 15 angle 160 so area will be circle area is pi r square and you just need part of it so pi radius 15 square phi theta over 360 and click everything in calculator 150 is replaced by 160 and then 13 is replaced by 15 you should be able to get your answer as 1592054 <laughs> so you just need the first three digits so do you have to change or not this time next number is small number so no change 314 unit and then correct to three six fig. Let's continue. Draw the sector. Radius sixteen. Angle is one seventy. Area will be circle is pi r square, and you just need part of it. So it's times theta over three sixty. So radius replaced by sixteen. Theta replaced by one seventy, and then you have three sixty degree at the back. And then you should be able to get your answer as remember to always pause the videos if i'm too quick because i am a little bit hurrying right i want to make the video shorter that's why you can always skip some part if you know how to do it now next number is big so you add the value this was a 79 here so if you add one more value it will be 380 same square correct to three same fig very good and then the last for this style and then we go to next style 
uh, sector here you have your radius you have your angle 180 degrees does that mean it's a sector that means this is one straight line is 180 degree remember so that means this is a semicircle now it's no more a sector you can call that sector too of course because it's part of the circle but then we usually call that semicircle and then for that semicircle you have your radius again 18 it's still the same way of course so area will still be pi r square part of it so pi radius is 18 square and then 180 over 360 so your just click calculator 180 i mean pi r square times 18 oh so 18 is your radius you should be able to get your answer as five zero eight point nine three eight link link go go and then you just need the first three digits so we see the next number it's big so we change the answers to one more value up cm square correct to three six fig it doesn't matter whether the circle is half cut into half or part of it you always use this method i show the theta here okay easy that's very good we still have some time let's do the volume as well now volume is a 3d shape how do i do that so there is a circle at the bottom it's going up 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 becomes a volume so if you want to find the volume of anything it will always be base shape area base area times the height okay that's the easiest way to find it so until form 2 we just learn about the prisms but then in form 3 next year you will also be learning about pyramids that means the pointy on top and if there's a pointy on top we will also have times 1 over 3 but this time we don't so let's not get confused so just prism shapes volume will be base area times height so that means the bottom and the above part is same same if they are same you always do this base area times height now the base of this shape is a circle so do you still remember what's the circle circle is a run shape okay area of circle will be area of circle is pi r square we just did it in previous question pi r square and then now because i need to find the volume so i will also have to times with the height so times height so volume of cylinder cylinder is a circular 3d shape so volume of cylinder will be pi r square the base circle times the height so pi r square h very easy so let's find the volume here you can just write v so pi r square h do i have my radius i have radius i have height so just find that and you should be able to get your answer so do i have to click calculator in pi no because the answer say in terms of pi so no need to click that so it's just as five square times six so you should be able to get that as 150 pi and this time your units we write that as three on top q because it's a 3d shape so cm q okay that's your answer so let's continue volume is pi r square h do we have our radius seven yes and they have a height of oh, height is also given so you can click that 40 for 7 square means 7 times 7 which is 49 49 times 8 you get that as 392 pi cm cube remember the unit cm cube you have to know how to draw and how to find the volume you may have few questions of this because this is very hard to remember it's not hard to do it it's hard to remember the formulas actually okay number three so you have volume as pi r square h our radius is 9 and then our height is 6 so 81 81 comes from 9 square 9 square means 9 times 9 91 times 6 you can get that as 486 cm cube it's a 3d shape and then let's continue volume is pi r square h so our radius is 4 so 4 square times the height 16 times 3 which is 48 pi cm cube so let's do it quick you can always pause the video and do on your own first and then check check so we have a volume as pi r square h 
which means the radius is 2 and the height is 6. So you have 2 square means 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. So 24 pi c. <gasps> I did something wrong, right? It's a 3D shape. So it should be cube there, miss. Good. Okay, number 6. Volume is pi r square h. Do I have my radius? Yes. It's just a practice. So 5 square means 5 times 5. 25. 25 times 2. You have 50. 50 pi cm cube. And then the last one as well. Volume is pi r square h. My radius is 5. So 5 square h is 7. So you click that. 25 times 7. You will have that as... 175 pi cm cube so that's for how you find the volume of the cylinder okay you see and then next practice 18 you just need to click this in calculator square roots of these given so square root 0 0.09 how do i click that so you have a square root sign here square root 0 0.09 oops what do i get 0 0.3 so that's your answer good so that's your answer let's click the other square root 0 0.0016 it is 0 0.04 now in your worksheets in given in class it might be a little bit different i changed some of the numbers but always just click it and if there's no answer remember the option e none of the above because you know i always get the typos so none of the above it could be anything next number three so you have square root 0 0.0025 which will be 0 0.05 and then next square root 0 0.36 you will have 0 0.6 and then square root 0 0.0049 you have 0 0.07 very easy right so basically what happens is that square root 49, we know 7 times 7. So it will be 7 at then. Then there is two zeros here. So you just need one more. Same goes here. Two zeros, so you just one more zero. And then 64 is 8 squared. So your answer will be 0 0.08. Okay. Be careful what you click in calculator. And if there is no option, just click the none of the above. You will be clear in exam. And then the last part of this oh no not yet the last so we have practiced 19 and 20 right 19 is a very long one so i'll make that later and then 20 because i have a little bit of time so i will do 20 in this video and then 19 in next video will that be okay or let's make the whole thing in next video okay then so let's end the whole thing here we are until practice 18 that means until the square roots again and then in next coming video we'll do the trigo trigonometry and like the so ka twa so ka twa that thing remember so we will do that and remember to draw on your own because it might not be in your figure and we will do a lot of those exercises because that is like around 20 marks in your exam around 20 marks it will be a big topic, of course. And then in the end, we will do indices just for a revision. And then I'll, of course, also explain what is factorization and expansion. So that's it for this video. That was the part five of your final examination revision of Maths Form 2. So Allah Hafiz. See you later. Allah Hafiz.